while your products are still warm, you want to pull the tube out so that it can start to cool. And now this stuff is fairly stable enough so that it can stand all by itself, but you want to make sure that the center can cool off by itself. As it cools, it will shrink, so you want to make sure to remove it while it's still warm. We're going to do a demo now on how to glue things with isomalt. Isomalt is a great invention, especially for show pieces that you're going to use in competition. It's basically a sugar substitute, and when you melt it, it turns nice and liquid, almost like water, and it's not as hygroscopic, which allows it to have a much longer shelf life for it to stand up. It's also not that important what temperature you get it to. You just don't want it to discolor. Because of the high heat of isomalt or sugar, it's good to protect your hands. These are glass blowing gloves that are rated to 350 degrees. And if you put your hand in this, plus they look very nice, nice color. And then you put on these blue gloves. It works out perfectly because you have some good grip on these things. And if you, for some reason, would spill a little sugar on here, it wouldn't burn your hand. It is important, if this is going to be your main component of your showpiece, that you start with something that is level and very sturdy, so you can get some height off your piece. One way to check it is obviously taking your um, water scale and checking to see how things are rotated. Not looking so good. So one option that we have is to take our rasp, bring this over to the edge of the table, This allows you to get a nice level base on your showpiece. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that our base, this is our platform, on top of here, we're going to stand this thing right here. This would be a good point to check with a level to making sure that things line up fairly level. What we're going to do is we're going to attach some spacers to these two plates. So you flip them over. To glue the spacers to my discs, there are two ways to do this. One, you could take them and dip them in the hot sugar, but you're getting very close with the tip of your fingers to a hot surface. So I would recommend take a little bit of sugar, pour it onto your sill pad, taking your spacers and carefully dip them into the surface two times and attach them to your base. Wait, dip it again. Then you can take this and flip it over and it's raised the surface, giving it a lighter edge around the bottom. We do the same thing to our smaller piece, making sure if the sugar gets too cold, it needs to be as liquid as water. If it gets too cold, however, you need to pour some more sugar onto your sill pad. Re-pouring the sugar, making sure it's nice and liquid or hot. Then dipping all four bases into it. Re-dip. And then bringing it over and allowing it to set. Because this is the base, you have to make very sure that it's sturdy and firm before you attach any taller units to it. Make sure you touch your bottom surface. Let that settle to the base for a little bit. Then re-dip it. And bring it right to your piece. So it sets fairly quickly. You can just chill it. To attach the rooster support, I dip this piece into the sugar, let it set again, dip it a second time, then bring the rooster and the piece together and lean into it. You can lay it down so that it can cool.
pour not too much isomalt into a piping bag and put a little bit of isomalt along the top ridge. Get that to firm up. And then bring your lid and set it on top. Next, we're going to flip this base upside down and just reinforce the top lid, making sure that it sticks. We don't want to get it too cold because sugar, when it gets cold, starts to crack. Isomalt, you have the same problems, being careful not to overcool it just enough so it starts to set. and you're all set. The other nice thing with isomalt is that you can, after it's hardened on the surface, you can throw it back into your container and it melts right back into the base. I'm going to take a spacer and stick it to the back. And once it's all cool, I take my sun and I can glue it right to the back over here. Another way you can get your sugar onto a surface is by just using a spoon and carefully placing it there, waiting a minute until that firms up a little bit, adding a little bit more, then taking the sun, mounting it to there. Then you can flip it over just to make sure you like the position of it. And then while it's cooling, again, invert it over. We're going to pour out a little bit of sugar. Taking the rooster's feet. Letting it set for a little bit. And now I have these little rocks that I'm going to put around the base to add his little extra support around his legs. You never want to glue a showpiece down to a board, otherwise you only have one use out of the board and it becomes part of your board and you have to throw it out later on. Now we're going to take the peel and attach it to the base, to the column and to the top plate. You want as many contact points as possible. And with a little piping bag, get a little bit of glue right there, and glue right here. Hold that there, those two positions are glued at the bottom to that. Once the sugar has hardened, you can take a knife and just pe peel it back. That way it doesn't get catch any of the um, spray afterwards. Then once he's all assembled, spray the surface. <laughs> 